In this video, we will explore the development approach of SAP Business Technology Platform. SAP strongly recommends this approach to developers whether they are creating new applications or extending existing ones. When working with SAP BTP, there are three primary development scenarios to consider. Building extension applications, integrating different systems, and developing new innovative solutions. Regardless of the use case you are working on, this pragmatic approach ensures a structured and effective development process for your SAP BTP applications. By adopting this development approach, you can confidently navigate the complexity of building applications on the SAP Business Technology Platform. Let's now talk about different steps in this development approach. In this approach, we start with Connect. In this step, we try to connect the backend applications like SAP or any application that supports API integration to your SAP BTP solution. The next step is Build. In this step, we actually build the application on SAP BTP. For building applications on SAP BTP, we can follow three strategies. You can use both SAP or open programming models to build applications on SAP BTP. You can also use no-code, low-code strategy for building applications on SAP BTP. Otherwise, SAP offers pro-code option where you can build applications on SAP BTP by using SAP or other programming tools. Next step is Access. In this step, we will enable external applications to access information from your BTP application. SAP offers three different channels to expose your information to external application. We can use different channels like web, mobile, artificial intelligence, or robotic process automation. Once your application is ready, the next step is deploy. For deploying your SAP BT application, you can choose any of the runtimes like Cloud Foundry, Schema, or ABAP runtime. For deploying your application, you can use either SAP BTP Launchpad or SAP WorkZone. Once your application is deployed, it is ready for operations. In this step, we can actually administer and operate applications by using SAP BTP Cockpit or you can also use CLI for operating your application. Hope you find this video useful. If you like the video, consider giving a like or subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.